set up your scroll in Google Analytics for the correct way the first time. Here on this measurement minute, we're going to show you exactly how to do that really quickly. First thing we're going to do is talk about enhanced measurements. So by default, out of the box, Google Analytics 4 does capture scroll. But as you can see here, it says only if they get to the bottom of page, meaning only 90%. So if you're used to seeing 10%, 25, 55, or 50, 75, then you're not going to see any of that stuff. So once you have everything set up um, that we're about to go through, you will want to make sure this is turned off and save it. So just a little bit of side note there. So here we have Google Tag Manager in and this is our universal analytics event that we had way back in the day. And here is actually the legit what we're using our current production Google Analytics for scroll that we are using for our site. So what we are just walking you through is how quickly it is easy it is to go through and set it up. Quite literally, this will take you about 30 seconds to do. You just go through and choose what type of event that is. You're choosing a Google Analytics for event. You choose your configuration tag and, uh, to make sure it goes to that particular Google Analytics for the event name you're going to use is scroll with a little s. Everything is lowercase inside of Google Analytics for and if you happen to have a second word like this down here, you use an underscore to separate those out. And without going into too many details, this is actually what Google Analytics 4 is looking for. It's something called a parameter and it's looking for this information to identify the scroll depth threshold. And we have other videos out there that kind of go through this in more depth and along with our courses and everything. But for this measurement minute, we're going to go through this pretty quick. So now you have your parameter that's identifying, hey, this is how far they scrolled. And then you're using the exact same trigger, meaning the exact same when you want this to fire. So we just basically grabbed the exact same trigger we were already using over here. Again, once you kind of get this practice, it'll probably take you just a matter of seconds to set this up. So if you have lots of clients, definitely practice and then you're going to be really fast at getting all of this done or create templates. All right. So now once you have this set up and you have saved it and you've gone through and uh, submitted and published all those changes, you're going to start seeing data come through. Now, here's the thing that um, everyone is getting a little bit confused on. And it's like, OK, now that you have your scroll coming through, what do you do with it now? Well, you come over here into your custom definitions and we're going to have lots of things back here. So no worries. We're going to choose. We're going to make this a little bit bigger now. We're going to choose this create a custom definition. And here's where you choose that event parameter. We've already chosen ours, so we're not going to see it here because you can only choose it once. But let's go in and see one of ours and we teach a lot. So we have lots of different things back here. And so this is exactly what ours is. So percent scroll percent underscore scrolled with a little B and a little S and we give ourselves a little definition and it is an event scoped. You only have a couple options here. Most of the time you are going to choose an event um, and we just gave it a name. Now, when we go into Looker Studio or we go into the, any other reports and we want to see the scroll depth that they're actually going, this is what we are going to look for. Scroll depth, this word right here. So that is how you set up your scroll in Google Analytics for the correct way. We'll see you next time on the next Measurement Minute.